Hey guys, Bolt here. So we're here for some, like, this is something I was supposed to done, do a while ago, but a lot of stuff came out. Um, the quick, this is going to be pretty quick because I have about 10-ish, 15 minutes to do this. So basically the modern lore for Five Nights at Freddy's, well, let me go ahead and, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do there. This is annoying. You're annoying. Um, I'm trying to get it adjusted. Um, it's very confusing. So it's like, right after Pizza Sim, we deal with AR, which at this point, like the lore from AR is basically Jessica was a part, uh, not Jessica. AR and Help Wanted. In Help Wanted, we basically see Vanessa uh, take part in beta testing and help program the VR system, which is an in-game universe game. Um, and we meet the tape girl, who is basically a previous beta tester, where basically everything went wrong. One of uh, the other team member named Jeremy cut his face off. He was getting, uh, like, basically he's, he was slowly changing as he was testing out. Um, oh, wait, I just realized the my one monitor is kind of getting off. There we go. Um... um and basically, we see why, and it's basically a visual corruption of what is supposedly William Afton's consciousness put into to the VR system by scanning a like a board of uh, computer parts, um, and then in AR we saw, we see Van Vanessa, who was our main character from. The help wanted uh, become kind of like a, a brainwashed follower for for them, and basically they have like almost complete control over her. She gets into a, um, I think it's based on a shipping company, and she's working for them for Fazbear's, and basically she does stuff to kind of help uh, the plan for the virtual entity go along and the person who kind of watches out for red flags on search histories and other things doesn't report her for stuff like some of her like her consciousness comes up every now and again to be like hey how can you get out of a like brainwashed possession scenario um, then, like, the William Afton comes out and starts asking for torture, uh, methods. Um, and for the most part, that doesn't go well, and she ends up, uh, like, using that kindness of, oh, I'll look the other way as long as, like, you're doing well. Um, he, he most likely had a crush on her, and he kind of, like, lost sight of what he was supposed to do, which ends up you know, doing worse later down the line. Um, then moving on to security breach, for the most part, that, that thing is so confusing, and with um, what Scott said during the 10th anniversary, um, basically it sounds like they got this so confuffled, but from what we understand right now is just Vanessa finally goes into the William Afton cosplay, and uh, it looks like during one of the endings, we see that a lot of children have went missing at this point. So it's believed that she's just taking basically after Afton. Um, and this visual bug is starting to like push her. And Fazbear Entertainment knows that it's her because they know about her costume. They have her as a therapist. Every, uh, because of her oddities, 
they do uh, assign her a therapist to kind of figure things out. But every time a therapist gets close to figuring out the truth or figure out something of her that she doesn't want them to like spout out, um, something happens to them. Um, well, them and another person. So Vanessa gets her visits. She's pretty like out of it. Um, and then there's another person that doesn't speak, which it's not going to be Vanessa, but it's just every time they, someone figures out a little bit of the story, they die. Um, and Vanessa, for the most part, doesn't have much story and security breach. It's mostly Gregory, this little kid who knows a little too much for his own good. Um, and in one of the books, GGY, it looks like he is a hacker. Um, he has um, some other motives, and from the books, it sounds like he has some of that like digital conscious um, in him, but it sounds like by the time Security Breach, he's able to break it, or at least um, sway himself into being able to be more conscious. And then we have uh, the virus starts to infect the Security Breach as a whole, and things like these, uh, the staff bots, the animatronic, the Glamrock animatronics, they all act this, uh, like way worse than they're supposed to. Um, basically, the it's kind of like a DDLC, which is Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, in that, in D Doki Doki, uh, Monica to uh, make the MC not like the gir other girls, she turns up their more toxic qualities to an eleven. You know. Uh, say, say Yori's depression, um, Yori's, um, like, fascination with pain and, and, uh, Natsuki's, uh, like, aggressive, aggressive levels. Um, I think that's kind of what's happening here. Um, the virus basically makes the staff bots, um, do their jobs in overdrive. And they're, uh, sometimes they go out of whack and we see this in Help Wanted 2 where if they're too overly stimulated in their job, they will attack. Um, and then the glam rock animatronics, Chico with her gluttonous, um, Roxy with her like ego, uh, Monty just with his aggression. Um, and then in the books, Freddy, uh, it's kind of like your superstar, uh, like, I'm the best, no one else is better than me, if I, if I want something, I'll get it. Um, and it sounds like he takes stuff from kids during the books, but in the beginning of Security Breach, he has a hard reboot, which puts him down to default settings where he's a nice person, he's supposed to be, um, the outgoing gentleman, um, but the issue that a lot of people are saying he's not possessed, but the issue with that is that at the end of the game, um, it's like when we're going for the burn trap ending, which it sounds like it's possible that that's uh, something that exists. Um, he's, uh, it sounds like Glamrock Freddy is possessed um, because he says that when I first came down here, I was clearing the rubble, but I found myself, which is like, so you're talking about yourself in like a third person kind of perspective. So it's an outside force at some, at like a little bit something either uh, digitally or supernaturally is a part of um, Glamrock Freddy. Um, um, back to Vanessa, basically all you have to do is play Princess Quest, which is where our consciousness is connected to, and once Gregory is able to hack into it, break the code, make it to where she isn't bound by, by that glitch trap virus, and is able to set, set free, and we get the Princess Quest ending, where her, Glamrock Freddy, and Gregory are able to walk away, and that is the true ending based on what Ruin shows. Um, it seems like the virus is trying to 
manipulate enough people to come in to uh, basically try to set itself free on the world. Um, and I think that's what happens with Cass is the glitch trap virus is able to lead um, her into the very bottom of the, of the rubble and find the mimic which in the books, the Mimic is literally just a program made by an associate of Fazbear Entertainment to do a job without being told, learn based on what it's shown and told. And it's basically an AI trained uh, worker. But because it has shown violence, it goes to it. And that's why we see it try to attack Cass. Um, and from what we're seeing with the Secret of the Mimic is that before even Fred Bears, there was a carnival or a festival-based thing, um, kind of like a fair, fun, fun fair, where Fazbear Entertainment started as just a bunch of different mascots coming together. Um, and they ended up finding the Fred, Fred Bear, um, Bonnie, Freddy, Chica, Foxy, all of them. Um, started there because um, even during one of the things we see that um, the main four are coming soon and Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria is going to be opening soon by the time Secret of the Mimic is happening so sometime before the 80s probably um, I think it was like 79 or something in the trailer uh, well the teaser trailer so it seems like we're going to figure out that the Mimic is something that's been there from the start and it probably seen some of uh, Afton's first crimes. Um, some of the things that are just theories at this point um, are like, let's see, nothing with AR, Help Wanted 1 and 2 kind of don't have too much. Um, well actually Help Wanted 2 does where it sounds like the red flag guy is the guy who we see in Help Wanted 2 who is trying to free him and it sounds like he's been at this for a while because <clears throat> during security breach you can find um, a few bags that give you messages from other people and one of them is Red Flag going back to AR and it's basically someone getting obsessed with trying to free Vanessa from Princess Quest <clears throat> and uh, he gives us the hint that you need to beat one, two, and then three. Once you beat three, you should be able to free the princess, but he isn't able to. He's not able to figure out what to do with Princess Quest Three. So it looks like Red Flag Guy tries to free Vanessa during security breach, and then during Ruin, he comes back to try to figure something out, but he gets hacked by the glitch trap virus, well, he was <clears throat> but it looks like he gets attacked by staff bots and uh, and it looks like our friend gets um, possess possesses or he um, is like put into uh, the mask bot we see at the beginning of ruin um, and then the other thing that a lot of people are saying is this is possibly um, Cass's father and on top of that Bonnie bro from Finance Nights Freddy's 4 and Finance Nights Freddy's 4 we had Michael and his three friends who wore the main four mask um, and then in the end of Help Wanted 2 there's a way to secretly get the Bonnie mask which uh, kind of says this is familiar this is something that this character has seen before and this is one of the only few times we would have known about a mask. Um, so it sounds like this guy has history. So not only has he been a friend of Michael's to make the Body 83 happen, but also he is the father of Cass, moves on, tries to save Vanessa, gets obsessed with it. Which is weird because it's like, what happened to Cass's mom in all this? Because it's weird for you to go after a woman just because she's a co-worker. I mean, I feel like it's not my job. I have a daughter at home and, and a wife moving on. Unless, like, the mom isn't in the picture anymore or passed away and he's just trying to 
catch something, which, man, simping hard. But anyways, um, that's kind of it, really. The rest of the stuff, like, uh, there's the Tangle, which is a lot of people know him as the Blob. It sounds like any any chances of people pa passing um, into the afterlife has been retconned by the, the Tangle. So all the original spirits seem to have been melted together from Henry's uh, try at the end of Pizza Sim. And it looks like all spirits are just in one giant clump. Um, another thing that uh, for John actually says that a lot of people agree with is that the puppet... Um, or at least the dark remnant um, of of the spirit it, of the puppet is hanging around and trying to like attack against the AI, the AI virus and is trying to like just downfall Fazbear as a whole so nothing can happen again. So it's act uh, the dark soul of the puppet is basically acting on anger, trying to stop Fazbear's from, from being a thing, and trying to stop this AI from being a thing to continue Afton's work. Um, but anyways, that's it all. I'll see you guys on Friday. Um, we played Amanda the Adventure. Um, oh, it would have been yesterday, I think. Uh, well, tomorrow. So, the 31st we'll be playing Amanda the Adventure on the main channel, Bolt. Um, and we will be doing a summary on Friday for it, um, and also having some theories kicking around in my head. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.